there's a lot of information out there these days. A lot of it's inaccurate, really doesn't resonate, doesn't represent what's happening in the world. It's all a means of control. And these are things that we're going to move through as the collective ego uh, rises up to be experienced, right? These are things that are coming out of the shadows. This is a control structure, a matrix that wanted the human population to live in fear so they could be controlled. That is all rising up now to be seen. When we bring awareness forward, we're able to better discern what resonates with our truth and what doesn't. And then we can make conscious decisions from that perspective as to what to believe and what not to believe. But I do want to tell you that this is all part of the experience. Everything we're going through is seen from the human perspective, from our human selves. That creates a reality. It paints a picture that fills in this backdrop of being human. Now know that you are more than human. This is just an end point, one end point of focus that through this dimensional field allows us to experience energy in this physical reality. So when we're looking at external events and things like that, we are seeing that from the human perspective. So that is the first and foremost scenario or situation that is happening in that moment. You are identified as a human and you are experiencing a reality as human. So as the energy rises up to be experienced and to be alchemized, it's going to manifest in a movie or a scenario that is going to, to play out from the perspective of a human. Things that can happen in this time-space reality in this universe to make it seem like it's a coherent and joined experience, okay? When realistically, we're just experiencing present moment, present moment, present moment, present moment, but it appears to us as a movie. And when we view that movie through the lens of a human, all the scenarios equate to things that are happening to human beings. We need to remember that we are not human. We are having a human experience. We are multidimensional beings. And the more that you start to remember that, and the more you start to build circuitry with that thought in mind by meditating, breath work, and sitting and aligning with those types of thoughts, the more you have access to a greater power, which helps you to better navigate this time-space reality. You can bring discernment forward. You could pull the goggles away from your eyes, the lens back, and you could see the information that you're being shown from an energetic perspective, first of all, relates to a story that is established in some sort of a limiting belief or control structure or fear matrix. But it represents an energy that is coming up to show you something. It is presenting you with an opportunity to be able to heal, to be able to bring consciousness forward to unconscious states of your being limiting beliefs, subconscious programming. When something happens or we're told something, we see something in the news and it creates a fear response, that's a program belief that comes up. We feel as though we're being told something from an authority. Therefore, it must be true. We must believe it. And that is a control structure. Those are subconscious limiting beliefs designed to keep you from thinking for yourself. Now, this ascension process is opening the doorway for you to be able to start to think for yourself and access the power of discernment. You can bring awareness forward and start to feel in your gut whether information you're being told is accurate or not accurate. Is it in alignment with your truth or not? And that is a very important power from the perspective of the human being because that starts to bring forward a new level of awareness. When you could look at something and say, no, I don't buy that. That doesn't make sense to me. You are creating space between that limiting belief and your consciousness, the truth of who you really are, your higher self. And that in that space, it allows that energy to start to step forward. So then you could further see what's happening in your reality as simply just a processing or an opportunity to alchemize dense energy, to heal to release limiting beliefs, 
and to ultimately rise in frequency. So when we look out at all the craziness that's happening in our reality, the stuff hitting the news left and right, twists and turns and all this stuff, this is all designed to keep you out of your body and keep you in your mind, to keep you distracted. Distracted from what? Distracted from the truth of who you really are. When you can be kept in fear and and exercise those limiting beliefs and identify with those limiting beliefs, you are pulled out of here and out into the field and you disconnect from the truth of who you are. You disconnect from your discernment. Very important to bring your awareness and your focus back inside so that you can feel the resonance of the information that you're receiving. Is it in alignment with your truth? Is it not? And again, that allows you to take a step back and start to identify energy, a dense structure control matrix that is in full swing right now because it is dying. It is no longer sustainable on this planet. You as a light worker, as a star seed, have grounded higher frequency energy and that energy is vibrating the planet at a faster rate. And therefore, the density that was in the planet can no longer remain there. The planet can no longer support the density. So therefore, it comes up and it comes up and rises up into our awareness. Well, how do we become aware of it? We see it play out on the movie screen of life in this time-space reality. That's how the dense energy manifests. So you're going to experience fear. You're going to experience anxiety and sadness and guilt and shame and all these emotions because that is the energy that was previously hidden in the subconscious where your ego wanted to keep you safe from it so it never allowed you to feel it. Now, because it can no longer be supported in your body and on a planetary level, in the planet's body, it is rising up. So you're going to feel it internally and you're going to see it externally in the collective as this energy rises. This is all opportunity, tremendous opportunity. It's one of the reasons why we're here is to be able to experience and become masters of energy and assist the planet, the solar system, and the universe in this ascension process. So that's how it plays out. So when when this dense energy externally is manifesting, it's very important to not identify with it. It's going to trigger some of these limiting beliefs, some of these traumas, some of these fears and anxieties within you that we all have within our body. It's important to bring awareness forward, front and center in that moment. And we can do this by hitting the pause button and breathing instead of reacting and allow yourself to create that space so that you could take a step back and get a wide perspective as to what's happening. And remember that this is how the ascension process plays out in this time space reality in this universe in order for the density to clear for it to rise in frequency and become alchemized it needs to be experienced so the craziness we're experiencing externally is all part of the process there's stories there's twists and turns everybody's playing their part in the ascension process there is no good there is no bad. We just experience it in terms of polarity because that's what this beautiful universe, this electromagnetic universe provides for us. It provides a backdrop, uh, a landscape to be able to experience this energy from a separate perspective and see it play out and see and experience polarities of it. Okay, but we know from a higher perspective, that it's all just an energy and everyone is playing their part in it. So when it comes to, to um, emotions like hate and guilt and shame and things like that, those are being shown to you so that you can hold the space and allow those programs and those traumas to come up and be healed within your heart. This loving, compassionate space. Okay. It's when we identify with those emotions is where we further harden our reality and things become much more difficult. That's when we get into the suffering. So see everything from the energetic perspective, watch the movie because it's absolutely glorious. 
has anybody ever in their wildest dreams thought that we could see this, especially these past five, six years, play out in the way they have? It's like we were all transported to another planet in another reality, and things have just gone absolutely nuts. But what's really happened is that people began to awaken on a massive scale. And that energy that has been hidden, the density locked underneath, tucked away in the subconscious, is now it being exposed. It is rising up to become conscious. That is part of this ascension process. And no matter how bleak or dark or bad things may look, know that that's energy that was always there. It's just come up now so that it could find your light. So embody your light, your higher self, integrate that energy, continue to do the healing work on a personal level, become that light and radiate it for the collective. And that will help further lift this density and help the planet to continue along the ascension path. If you have not downloaded my Heart Chakra Guided Meditation, definitely check that out on my website. There's a link in the description. It will help you to stay heart-centered and get through these crazy times. April is going to be an amazing month, a lot of opportunity for growth. So until next time, thank you.